Hey guys, I just want to show you how you can create um, this offset effect with your logo. So if we have a look here, you've got your simple logo that we created in one of the previous videos, how we could create an offset effect. And um, if we were to put it into the laser, you could ask it to cut on this line and, and you could also ask it to um, <clears throat> engrave on the center here. So in order to do that, guys, we've got our original one here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the item now pretty important here if you have the direct selection tool and you selected this you'll notice that the thin blue line is on the outline and on the center but we don't actually want to offset this center one so we want to try and select the outline but not the center one so to do that i'm going to go to my direct selection tool click the outline and then I go to Object, Path, Offset Path. I'm just going to leave that up for a little bit so you can see it. Object, Path, Offset Path. I select on that. And let's just say, so 0.5 is the one I know that works. It was 2 for a default. I click on that and go, oh, that's actually way too big and looks disgusting. So I'm going to go, I'll change it to 0.5. Nothing happens. What you need to do is deselect the preview, select it again, and you'll get a true indication of what it's going to look like. I can then click OK, and I've now got um, my perfect image here for uh, transporting into the laser. While we're here, guys, I'm also going to show you how to do that. So if I was to open up RD Works and go back into AI, I'm simply going to, I probably should just save one of these, but I'll just go File, Save As. Um, I'm just going to chuck this on my desktop as a test. Let's see. Okay. So it's an AI file, Adobe Illustrator. Test LC is what I'm calling it. Click Save. Um, don't need to change anything here and I click OK go into RD works I'm going to import by clicking that button there and I'm going to go to desktop and there it is there I have to grab that one there I'm just going to delete it so I've only got one to deal with at the moment and I can select this line and make it my green cut line. I could then select this line and make it my blue engrave along with that one as well. Um, so that should work if I go into my <coughs> preview you'll see what the computer's going to produce with the laser so fairly simple stuff but that's how you offset a shape in Adobe Illustrator and then that's how you would transport it into um, RD works and so if you wanted to put a um, a circle in here for a key ring or whatever you could just build that shape using the ellipse tool drag your circle select it and then make sure that it is um, the same measurement each way so 0.5 5 so obviously that's a pretty small hole in real life so this thing's quite small I would now grab the whole thing and I would make it bigger you might want to centralize that hole as well save that as a vector and I'll also get you to save it as a um, as a JPEG. Cool. Thanks, guys.